you're worried that your English might not be so good. So this is going to sound strange, but actually English is not my first language. Spanish is my first language. However, you know, I was raised where I actually spoke English and Spanish at the same time. I remember not being able to speak English when I was two years old. I remember uh, following my preschool teacher around and not knowing what was going on. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I remember there was like a weird nap time and uh, there was some cookies, uh, but that, that's all I remember. But I remember not being able to speak English. So in this video, I wanna talk about English and grad school. So there's a test. It's the T-O-E-F-L, TOEFL I think is how you say it. And it's an extremely important test and it is extremely important that you do well on it. So if you are coming from another country or maybe you were born in the US and you're applying to a US school, but still English was not like your first language, uh, it's really important to take the TOEFL. If you have a strong accent, take the TOEFL. It's important. It will dramatically improve your chances of getting into a good program. It, it will help. Even if the college says you don't have to take it and it's just recommended, you should take it. So how do you study for this test? Well, you just go on Amazon and Google, you know, TOEFL, T-O-E-F-L, and buy a book, buy, buy a couple books, maybe buy two books, and get the ones with the best reviews, you know, read the reviews, and then just study, right? And do your best and study. It's really important to, to get a good score on this test. I had a friend in, in grad school, a really good friend, uh, I won't mention his name, but great guy, he was from India, and he took the TOEFL and he scored really well on it. And you know, he came to grad school with me, and he was my friend. And he actually had a master's in physics, by the way, it's kind of random, but he did. And um, oh, he's a good, he was a good guy. He was not able to teach his first semester, and because of that, they paid him less. And the reason is, uh, he had to take an oral exam after he got there, and they said that his accent was too strong. And when he told me this, I was like, really, your accent is too strong? I'm like, well, dude, I can understand you. Like, I, I think you sound fine, but no, no, no. The math department thought his accent was too strong. Why? Well, math departments, right, at colleges and universities, they are judged uh, by, you know, they're evaluated by how good their teachers are. And so, you know, they have students and you know, students can be picky. And you know, if someone says, oh, you know, I don't really understand this, you know, this teaching assistant, you know, their English is terrible, I can't understand anything they're saying. So people complain and so things happen. So the math departments have to be really, really careful that whoever they have teaching the classes don't have really strong accents. In other words, that everyone can understand what they're saying. So they, they do place a big pressure on this, unfortunately. Again, I thought my friend spoke perfect English. He was awesome. I mean, he was one of my best friends in, in grad school. The good news is, after a year, uh, he retook the oral test and they let him teach. And he got a big pay raise. I think it was like an extra $200 a month. I think I was making about $1,500 a month at the time, take home, and he was making like $1,300. And then so after um, the, the first year, they bumped him up to, to $1,500. So English does matter, right? Especially if you're coming from another country. So uh, I would say make that a really big priority if you're applying to US grad schools. Uh, study for that test. And, and if you get in, like what happened to my friend, he took the test, he did well, he got here, he took the oral, and then they still took his pay down. I mean, that was, he was so crushed. I mean, he just came here from India. I mean, all the way from India to like some foreign country. I mean, I live here in the US, but for him, you know, that, that's a big move. It's like me going to India. I'd be like, whoa, I'm in India. It's a big deal, right? You're going to another country. They tell you, you know, everything is gonna be fine, and then they cut your pay. It's like, no. So that was, that was really tough on him. Uh, but he, so don't give up. After a year, he was able to do it. So if it happens to you, you know, just, just be ready for it. So take it seriously. And yeah, so it does matter. So if you're curious, it does matter. Good luck.